How you doing there, chat? It's a uh, early, early morning in the Arctic hellscape known as the Midwest, with 45 bajillion degrees below zero Celsius. Of course, I uh, you'll freeze to death even indoors with a fire going. So I thought I'd spend the last few moments of my life talking about uh, dilation done quickly. Actually, I'm just really bored early in the morning. And decided to stream for the fuck of it. How, how are you doing, chat? It's a nice little... It's a nice little fuck, uh, fuck it stream. Early in the morning. We can talk about whatever we like. Nobody... Nobody can do shit about it. Are you all getting... Oh, it's Euro time. Ugh. Well, I can't... Uh, I can't do anything about that. I can't do anything about the Europeans watching this. If I could ban you, I would. <laughs> Fucking Europeans. But what are you going to do? You're hitting the fire water hard, are you? Uh, it's 57 degrees in your house. Uh, best of luck, fried bacon. Find find a fat person and cuddle up next to them. Hopefully the body warmth will keep you warm. Either that or sleep under their lard. You know, like a seal. You know that scene out of Star Wars where they cut open the... what? I, I don't watch that nerd shit. Was it a Gungan? What was the fucking thing Luke cut open to sleep inside? A horse? A space horse? Find a space horse and gut it, and then live inside of it, and keep yourself warm. That's the best thing that you can do. Oh, is it Aussie time? I don't know. Australian time, European time, American time. It's time for something. You know, I was thinking, there's really no morning shows left, are there? Now that uh, Low T Tonka has turned into Wrestle Wrestle Podcast, what the fuck am I going to listen to in the morning? I think that's up on you, chat. One of you faggots is going to have to put together a fucking morning show. Because I'm too lazy to do it. I'm too lazy and I drink too much. I need somebody that can be sober in the morning. And can put on something entertaining. I'd ask uh, Ralph to do it, but I don't think he wakes up until like 5 in the fucking evening. And Andy is too busy fighting off Asian men from Malaysia who are trying to destroy him. So I really don't know where to turn. Maybe Josh from Kiwi Farms could do it, but... He keeps getting banned everywhere. So who the fuck's going to do a morning show? What what are, what are people supposed to listen to when they drive into the office in the morning? Or when their boss isn't looking because they're, uh, you know, slacking off of the job, which was a favorite activity of mine. I've spent many a day in a cubicle doing things that were anything but work. I think that's the office uh, mentality most of us have. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Usually what I do is I peek over the cubicle at the poor bastard uh, across from me, and then we'd exchange video games, and then think about playing those games when we got the fuck out of the office and didn't have to be there anymore. And then when we'd come back, we'd talk about how great the games were in hopes that the clock would move faster so we could, again, get the fuck out of there and go do something else that wasn't related to actually working. Is this a pre-recorded Donga? No, I don't I don't pre-record my streams like Donga does. I can read your shit. Are you getting ready to go to work? Oh, fun times. Hopefully the stream is working. People report that when you don't tell stream me ahead of time that you're going to stream, that the stream does not in fact work. We may all be up shit creek. I don't know what to tell you. The cubicle wage cuck. Oh, we've all worked in a cubicle. Don't pretend you have it. Everybody at some point in their life has worked in a cubicle. D Donka's show is good. Yeah, I love listening to wrestling talk from people who don't watch wrestling. It's always the hottest shit around. It's always the good stuff. You're at work right now? Ugh, my condolences. Why don't you turn the volume up and I'll scream faggot at your boss? <laughs> First, tell me your name. And your boss's name. And then turn the volume all the way up. And I'll scream faggot at your boss. Uh, Morning Joe. No, I'm not going to watch MSNBC. That would be that would be punishment for a crime I haven't committed yet to deserve such a punishment. Oh shit, we had a few seconds of dead air there. I think I channeled the spirit of Donga for a moment. 
Maybe I rain danced when I wasn't paying attention and somehow his Indian spirit flew over from the trailer park and possessed me. I suddenly have an urge to challenge people to fights and then never show up to them. And then, and then date women whose teeth are falling out. I, I don't know what's going on. It's like a, it's like a modern day version of Poltergeist. Except the Indian burial ground is full of Indians that aren't actually dead yet. And they try to collect super berries rather than spook you. Uh, no, not drunk. Just really, really bored early in the morning. I have nothing to consume. There's no entertainment out there for me. Uh, when are Ralph and I doing a rematch? I, I don't know. You know, I, I bodied Ralph's ass 7-0. to zero, And I'm scared to rematch him because I think it's going to be another 7-0. to zero. And I don't know if a dude that loses 14 times in a row is going to be able to keep it together. We might have a suicide in the South. Might find a man dead, surrounded by empty whiskey bottles, and really terrible barbecue. With a note pinned to his chest that said, Why can't I get good? Rip it pepperoni. Something like that. Where's Jade? She's out in the cornfield, probably frozen to death in the subarctic fucking weather that's out there right now. Yeah, I sleep for one hour. I'm actually an insomniac, so I'm up for quite a great deal of time. But you can only build so many labos until you run out of labos to build. They're all... <laughs> all my cardboard is just sitting out there nicely displayed. Uh, <laughs> the greatest puzzles for modern millennials are my cardboard labo puzzles, which I have just set out in their own display cases when guests come over. So the first thing they see when they walk through the door is a sign that I am, in fact, a man-child. And I will probably attack them with my incel-filled rage if they say anything bad about my video games while screaming SJWs at them. Oh, QAnon. I don't know about that. We need to... What the fuck is it they say? We need to trust the plan. All right? Q's got this under control. Trust, trust the plan. You need to just trust it. All right? Because things are happening, and uh, Israel is based, squeaky squeaky. All right, uh, my fellow megapedes, we just need to trust that plan. Shit's happening. People, uh, any day now, any day now, everybody's going to get arrested, and uh, Trump is going to be declared emperor. Okay, uh, blessed be Q, and trusting the plan. Uh, no, the Warhammer stream won't be... Uh, won't be actually happening for a while. Nick Ricada wants to come on and talk about it, so I'll probably have him on as a guest. I, I don't know. That'll be uh, probably not this upcoming week, but next week, because I've got crowd on Sunday, and then on Saturday is the writing contest. Is a reservation near you well-stocked with acorns and peanuts for the winter? I don't know. I, well, there's plenty... I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to eat tree bark or some shit. Go all survivalist. It'd be like the 1800s out here. It's funny how you're already getting 200 watchers at this time while Donga can't get more than 100 now. I, you know, Streamy's not a bad little platform. I mean, there are people kind of just kicking around waiting to watch shit. Uh, I just think more people need to stream stuff. Aside from, like, Narcissa Wright. Uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't even know if Cosmo still streams here. I think they might have been driven off by all the bad people that have come in. Is Narcissa still streaming on Streamy, or have they completely... Have they become one of the 47% now? Should I put up a little memorial image for Narcissa, or are they still among the living? For the 40k stream, you should read the TG Cold Shoulder Thread? Ah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Did Kitty Styles off himself yet? I, I, I don't know. I mean, how the fuck are we going to keep up with that? He got banned off the platform. There's, there's no way to keep up with it. Gang Gang is all here? Oh, there you go. Uh, no, Cosmo's gone, so they left then. You know, I I thought we could talk about speedrunners. Just kill a little time. Maybe maybe you're getting ready for work. Maybe you're going to go drive to work. Maybe you're like that one dude who's already at work. In which case, uh, <laughs> your boss is a faggot. Turn the volume up. But I thought we could talk about speedrunners. Kill a little time. I've got to, I've got some lore to go with that. Maybe talk about, like, Chibi, ne or Chibi Neko Demix, the guy that uh, cheated his way in Super Mario. I'm actually familiar with him. I knew him before he was in speedrunning. He's a weird little fucker. I've talked to him on Skype before. Long, long fucking time ago. 
dude used to wear dog collars and was into all sorts of weird fucked up shit. So, or maybe, maybe watch some Ultra J-Man and play the clip where his mother smacks him like a bitch in front of the entire audience and you can hear him cry. That's a good clip too. There's lots of fun shit related to speedrunning and video games for an early fucking morning stream. Uh, no, I don't think I have to worry. Uh, am I worried about the Malaysian government? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a uh, rodent-looking individual that's posting gay pornography. I don't think they're interested in me. You know, I don't know if that plan of contacting the Malaysian government is going to work very well. They'll probably give them a fucking medal of honor. I mean, it is a Muslim-majority country, and they hate dogs. So if you tell them this dude killed a dog with a flashbang grenade, they'll probably name a fucking holiday after him. Uh, good morning, uh, NSBM Prot. What do you think about Ranbot 2020? I, I don't know what's going on. Like, I, I've noticed certain people aren't streaming anymore, or their streams aren't showing up properly. It's like there's some weird little civil war going on, and I have no idea what the fucking sides are. I, I saw a couple of people had streams up that, like, when you clicked on them, it gave you a 404. It showed that they were streaming, and it showed people were watching them. But when you tried to actually go watch the stream, it's not, it's not showing up. It's really fucking weird. Uh, Kitty Styles' new Twitch is Potato Melon. Oof. I don't know. Is he streaming right now? We could watch some Kitty Styles if you want to. Watch a little. <laughs> watch a little. Yeah, I'm going to steal that. Uh, I'm going to call it Medicare in the Mornings, where we just watch Kitty Styles all the time, nonstop, waiting for his inevitable Norwegian suicide to happen. Alex just changed his username mid-broadcast, and that broke the back end. Is that what did it? That might explain why that happened. I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Message deleted. I think we'll all be safe here. I don't think um, I don't think Thrax can hurt us here. He's too busy writing uh, porn about Mama's Milkers uh, right now, as he LARPs as a gay, obese dragon. I think we're safe. I think we're I think we're okay. We're huddled in the cave that is stream me. And the big bad other Ken known as Thrax can't touch us here. He only has power in Donga's YouTube chat. And on his uh, protected Twitter account. Because he's a giant fucking retard. Do I have something against milkers? No, I love milkers. I have something against the dude that writes r <laughs> fucking uh, erotic role-playing novels and fan fictions about his own mother's milkers. And we all know our fat, obese dragon LARPer, Thrax wants to suck on his mama's milkers. Jim wants on? Do I need to check Twitter? I didn't know Jim wants on. Let me jump on that. Oh, look at all these messages deleted. I think Thrax found us, guys. I think it's I, the jig is up. We're fucked. It's, it's over. We're fucking screwed. Uh, what's your opinion on the restream? Or of the restream? I, I don't care about restreams. More people streaming, the better. What are you, you going to do? I've never cared about people restreaming shit or putting up stuff that I put up. I put a little statement up. For some reason, YouTube was cracking down on people and like erasing channels and taking away monetization and doing all this really weird fucked up shit. If you re-uploaded somebody else's stuff, like you need to put out a statement saying that's okay. So I put that statement out. So if if you want to fucking clip my shit and put it up, if you want to restream it. If you want to just upload the videos on your own channel, I, I don't give a shit. Go ahead. I already, I've given consent. You have affirmative consent. You can, you can uh, lovingly caress me every step of the way. I'm more than willing. I'm a dirty little slut. Fuck my content good. Oh, Jim is streaming in five minutes? Shit. Shit, we all need to, we, need, we all need to rush over there. Hey, Jim, in the comments of your Black Months Matter video that Young Pharaoh challenged you to debate, did that ever happen? Uh, no, it didn't. Maybe we can make that happen this February. I tried to get a hold of him. And I, you know, I tried to get a hold of him through uh, YouTube's message. do private messaging on YouTube anymore. Not really sure why they got rid of it, but they did. They also got rid of the comment page. Now you're stuck with that weird fucking community page. Uh, retards rise up. That's right. R R U chat. R R U. Rise up, retards. Rise up. Have I tried a drive by? No, but sounds like sounds like a ton of fun. 
Am I Saren from the gas station? No, I'm not. Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, watch me stream Shovel Knight next time I try so some people will actually watch. Okay, well, the real Chaos X wants people to watch them play Shovel Knight. I hope you're not shit at the video game. Because they'll watch you and then laugh at you, and that'll be embarrassing. How shameful would that be? Uh, what do you think of people want to listen to see in a morning show? I, I don't know. They want to hear goofy shit. Um, I always like morning radio. I like uh, like zoo radio, uh, where it's obnoxious hosts being assholes to people. Uh, that works well. That's a good format. Just something entertaining. I just need white noise for the fucking car drive. You know what I mean? Or uh, white noise just early in the morning. is That's nice. Something to listen to that isn't the really horrible, average, mundane, normal talk radio. Because that's just dog shit. Uh, they want dead air. Yeah, that's what the kids are clamoring for. I need more dead air. I need lots of dead air. Uh, no way, I'm awesome at Plague Night. It's my favorite, to be honest. Well, that sounds like sounds like you're throwing the gauntlet down. If I come watch you play that fucking game and you're awful at it, well, I'm going to tease you. I'm going to meme on you so hard. You're never going to play video games again. Uh, Zoo Radio, okay, thanks for the tip. Uh, yeah, you can find some of it still. Everything's kind of become sanitized, so it's harder and harder to find. Did I plug in my car? Well, yeah, I've got it. I've got it hooked up to the wall outlet. Uh, the lights are dimming, so I think it's charging. Mundane Matt ruined the word mundane for you. Uh, oh well, my condolences. What are you gonna do? Uh, mundane Matt is an awful human being who has really horrible fucking content, and uh, he ruins a lot of things. He ruins pretty much everything he touches. Uh, did you see Mashable wrote a clickbait or clit, goddamn, clickbait article about the remote control basement excavator 18 hours after your stream? Uh, no, I did not notice that. I don't read Mashable. I uh, heard you talk about the web is moving towards real ID. Aside from the obvious, you ever share your thoughts on why being anonymous is better? Well, <sighs> being anonymous allows you to basically say whatever you think. Uh, respond in ways that you want to respond. If you want truth, anonymity is the way to get it. I mean, yeah, people are going to be assholes. That's part of the uh, appeal of being anonymous. But you can't have a real conversation without the cloak of anonymity. And you look at people that want to say something important, too. I mean, aside from just the shit posting or talking about stuff that you want to talk about, you look at somebody who, I don't know, has some big news or some important insight or knows something that people need to fucking hear. Uh, they could never come out and do it under their own name. Uh, they're going to get nailed in courts. They're going to get nailed in a, a myriad of different ways. Giving them a, an outlet anonymously helps to facilitate that. Rubs your clit as a friend. Well, at least you're doing it as a friend, so I know it's not it's not too terrible. Free speech faggots. Uh, you could say that, too. Fucking freaks in the picture. Jesus, no, I'm sorry. You watch what you say. These are beautiful women. Each of them is just... is a delicious diva. You need to get on your fucking knees and worship this trans pussy. Okay, this is what a real woman looks like. <laughs> a real woman looks like Jesus Christ went bald. Like if you tip them upside down, you could mop a hallway with their head. That's what a real... Okay, it's a new day and age. Get with it. Such bigotry in my chat. I can't take it. All right, we're inclusive here. Diversity is our fucking strength. It's not a mantra. It's a lifestyle. So let's uh, let's grab some. Let me get some clips here. I'll watch some shit early in the morning. Kill a little bit of time before I I get bored of this and then I go play a video game. Well, what do we start with? I know I had this. No, that's... Okay, gets slapped by his mother. That's a good one. Give me one moment, chat. And uh, we will we will watch some shit. A man has a choice. No, that's not what I wanted. 
That's my own shit. I don't want to watch that. Okay, I think I've got this ready. Let me pop out fucking chat here. Okay, there we go. Get everything nice and nice and organized. Be real professional about it. So we can see all the horrendous shit you want to say. Let me just get that nice and nice and widescreen. There we go. Hey, maybe we can watch a guy that ate chickens out of a can so much he actually died. That if you know if that's something you're interested in, you want to watch an obese man eat shit. I know that was uh, Josh's thing for a while. He was really into the feeder stuff. So maybe you're all clamoring for that hot content. I've got one of a fat guy that ate like 30 chickens in a can. And then, he didn't die immediately, but you can see that kind of lifestyle would eventually lead to you fucking dying, because it's disgusting. Watching the clip makes me want to vomit. Okay, let's see here. I can turn that off. I think this is ready to go. Alright, let's uh, display capture. Where are you here? There we go. There we go. Everything should be up on screen. Just have a sip of my my drink here. And we'll listen to Speedrunner gets slapped by his mother on live stream. Ultra J Man. Very funny. Spurgs the fuck out uh, and mommy gives him a nice love tap on his face. Probably disappointed that he's like 30 years old playing fucking Rayman in the basement on a weekday rather than getting a job or going to school. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Who's the balding bitch? Well, at least he used the proper pronoun. She is the balding bitch. Very lovely lady. I, I don't know what the name is. Letitia? Let's just say her name is Letitia. She seems like a Letitia to me. Okay, here we go. Is that work? <sighs> what a piece of yeah. shit. Look, he did it again. No, fucking, why do people tell me to fucking take a break when I'm doing good at games? You fucking shut your whore bag piece of shit cock sucking mouth. Aw, uh, see, this is back from the good old days of everybody wanting to be the AVGN. So they all had to say, like, 38 cuss words in a row to really nail home that they're, they're gamers, okay? This is what gamers do. We say naughty words while we play our video games. And he says it in such a nerdy way. Like, this is a guy that's not comfortable swearing. You ever hear somebody that swears and you can tell instantly from listening to them that they're not comfortable doing it? That's that's this guy. That's this guy to a T. I need to restart again because I need I lost too many lives. I hit the continue button. Good going, nerd. I hit the continue button. I need to not hit the continue button. I need to game over first so I can actually continue from the start of level. Don't worry, Chad. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay! Don't you fucking raise your voice to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop it! Do it! Do it! What is wrong with you? Do it! What is wrong with you? Would you, you know, I'd love, I love this situation because in my head, I like to imagine they live in the suburbs and his window's open and it's like summer and his neighbors are out mowing their lawn. Maybe the people across the street are having lemonade on their porch. And all of a sudden you hear this 30 year old spurg out while he's playing Rayman screaming, slap me, do it, do it. Let's, uh, let's back that up. Well, listen to it one more time. The aggression, you can hear the soy dripping off his words as the anger creeps in. I need to game over first so I can actually continue. From the start of level. Mm -hmm. Okay! Don't you fucking raise your voice to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Slap it! Do it! Do it! What is wrong with you? Do it! What is wrong with you? Do it! You want me to fucking slap you? I will. Do it! I don't Get care. Fuck it off. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Fuck. Huh? A lot of fucking nerve. A lot of fucking nerve. Never raise your voice to me again. Can you understand? Yep. Yeah. Oh, fucking... oh, stop it. God damn it. Stop it. Hold stop on. It. Hold on. Hold on. I need, to, I need to stop the stream. I need to stop my stream. Right. 
Hold on one second, Father. I need to stop the stream or people are going to think I'm a fucking lunatic. <laughs> you can hear the physical confrontation start. You can you can actually hear the moment they come to blows in this fucking audio. Raise your voice to me again. Can you understand? Yep. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> damn, stop it. God damn it, stop it. That sounded like a, a turkey go uh, gobbling. Let me let me back that up. It sound listen to it really. It sounds like a bird in distress. That right there, that sound that she made. I'm wondering if he like punched her in the tit. How do you make a woman make that sound? I'm telling you, it's a turkey gobbling. Again, can you understand? Yep. I want that as a sound clip. I've never heard a human woman sound like a turkey gobbling before, but her son spurging out made that happen. It does, doesn't it? It sounds exactly like that. Oh, Ultra J Man. Uh, there's another, I got another clip. Let me pull this up. Give me one second here. Put these beautiful ladies back up on screen. Let me find it. If you want to see what this uh, handsome individual looks like, I've got uh, one where he cries. <laughs> he cries. He cries for like five minutes talking about how speedrunning saved his life. And uh, people shit on him in the comments, and the people that put the video up got very fucking angry about that. Okay, okay, I think I got it here. All right, let's 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 dig into some more Ultra J Man. Here we go. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, it's time to. Like That's the beautiful man himself. I I don't know if my mouse is showing up on screen, but I'm pointing to the guy standing, the one who looks like a fucking. Uh, a stand-in bass drummer for, uh, or no, stand-in bassist for Pantera or something. He wanted to really desperately in a, be in a hair metal band, but that time has passed, so he took up Let's Play. Like, nervously tosses this duct tape back and forth, because that's, like, one of my quirks here. But, um, let's see, how do I start this story? Uh, let's see. Two guys walked into a bar. <laughs> Two guys walked into a bar, no. Um, one duct. About, I'd say... Oh, I don't know, sometime years ago when I was like 10 or so, uh, ended up being... Does anybody notice how not one person in this fucking entire room, an entire room full of like 35 people, is looking at anybody else? There's no eye contact. Everybody is looking in a different direction. When you take, when you take a group of people that are this low T and you put them in a uh, uncomfortable close situation... Nobody can make eye contact. It's too it's too spooky. So they're like looking at their shoes and looking at the arm of the sofa. One guy's looking at the wall. I'm sure a dude's counting how many panels are on the ceiling. But let's listen to this brilliant speech. Being homeschooled and I didn't have uh, a lot of friends or anything. So <laughs> what I did instead is I spent a lot of time playing video games. That's about all I did. And um, right up until I got into high school, met one of my friends. That's like the thing I did. It's a thing I related with, and um, a lot of weird things that happened as a kid I'd rather not go into that uh, made me really... Somebody said the fat guy's looking at him. He was for a minute. I think he got confused and thought he had food in his hands. That's a hacky sack, though. You can see the defeated look as he looks down. He's almost downtrodden. Very sad. Like, oh, I thought that was, I thought that was food. But he's not holding food. That's an exercise device. I can't... I can't eat that. Socially anxious and, uh, hold on. Um, <laughs> so, basically where I'm going with this story is, uh... I like the musical choice in the background, too. It's very fitting as a man breaks down in tears talking about speedrunning fucking Rayman on the internet for people. Online around 2007 or so, I started to do Let's Plays, and, um, it was this sort of, like, you know, to be, um, this larger-than-life guy that, uh, a lot of people know me as, and, um, it sort of brought me from being the, uh, like, really, sh really, <laughs> whew, <laughs> I just can't find the words to explain to you guys how much it means that you watch my Let's Plays of Pokemon Blue. All those kids that kick my ass in junior high, who's laughing now? <laughs> oh yeah, 
<laughs> the original video's not up anymore. These are the fucking uh, messages the dude who put the clips up and the people who are laughing at him got. <laughs> Let me see what we got here. Uh, to Seb Mall, I believe you would remember this video you uploaded. If not, it was about a month ago. You'll know it when you see it. But on to the matter at hand. Don't fucking upload shit like this. Anything that shows the personal problems of another person. Surely you've had days where some shit went down with you or your family. How would you feel if everything you ever did, your worst moments in life, were recorded and put up for others to watch? If every one of your failures was considered Scheuden fraud, I know you'll blow me off. I can tell you're the scum of the earth. I have to say, don't fuck with my friends. I'm a pacifist, so I would not go out of my way to harm you. But rest assured, having your blood upon my hands would be great. Hey, hey, tough guy, I'm going to fuck you up. Well, not actually me, I'm a pacifist. But bad things are maybe going to happen to you because somebody else might do something. But it won't be me. Because I'm too much of a pussy to do anything other than send you a message on YouTube saying, Hey, stop it. Just don't. Just, just don't. <laughs> piece of shit. I'm guessing this guy's the one that was uploading the clips of his mom smacking him and the clips of him crying at the speedrunning event. Put both of them up. No. Fucking why do people tell me to fucking take I I think this is the video we just watched. Let me see if there's anything new here. Huh? Lot of fucking nerve. Lot of fucking nerve. Oh, here comes Never raise your voice <laughs> Here comes you gobble can't gobble. Oh, he, he made his fucking mother gobble. I can't believe he did that. Oh, this dude got a lot of messages. Uh, lots of messages. And I think it's actually from Ultra J Man. Let's see what he got. Hey, look, Uzanair. Maybe if you watched any of my vast variety of LPs, your opinion would have merit. So maybe you should shut the fuck up, you stupid faggot cunt. In fact, go suck more dicks. Suck Pale's dick. Suck Oz's dick. Suck everyone's dick on S.A. who's a stupid bitch that can't fucking L.P. You're the biggest faggot I've ever seen. And represent all that's wrong with the internet. God damn. I hope you fucking die. I also hope Oz fucking dies. Bale is the only person I find cool in your little clique. Because he's actually legit awesome. But fuck the rest of your stupid faggot bitch ass friends. Better yet, do an LP yourself that isn't complete garbage. And maybe your opinion will have some kind of merit. Until then, continue being the scum of the internet that everyone scrapes off their fucking shoe at the end of the day. Oof. The guy that makes his mother gobble like a turkey and has fucking emotional breakdowns in a room full of autists sure talks a tough fucking game on the internet, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, he's a tough boy. We got any, are there any others or is that, is that all we're going to get? Let me skip ahead a little here. I think, no, that's, hey, he told him, you better, you better watch out. All right, I, I let's play Rayman. Big fucking deal over here. Maybe you don't know who I am. Hardcore parkour, you're right, chat. It's a very, he's a, he's a tough, he's a tough boy. That's a, a guy you don't want to fuck with. All right, he's going to bring the thunder down right on your goddamn head. Those Let's Players, tough sons of bitches. Is Slow Beef dead? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I just find it funny a dude that was, you know, one of the the people that did all these rat surprises and talked all the shit about what a bad uh, fucking let's play is. Put up that let's play of Dark Souls. Have you ever seen Slow Beef's uh, LP of Dark Souls? 
it's like the shit he makes fun of, but he's being serious. I don't know if he's alive or dead at the moment, though. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I haven't looked at the LP sub forum in like eight years. So I have no idea who's still among the living there. Let me find Chibi now. Our little boy, Chibi ne or Nepo or <laughs> Necodemix. I can't even say the fucking name. I'm sure it's based off some weird conglomeration of anime. Little Chinese girl cartoons. And he merged them all together to come out with that clusterfuck of a fucking name. But you can just call him Chibi. He's the guy that, uh, that cheated in a speed run by using uh, tool assisting. Or he did some fucked up thing and people nailed his ass on it. Gave a heartfelt apology and was driven out of the fucking uh, community. But I, I met him way, way back in the day. He was friends with Big Al 2K6. And he was a weird little fucker. Yeah, wore dog collars, was a heavy emo goth kid. Eyeliner and dark makeup. And, you know, it liked uh, just, just the whole emo scene was very into that. Very, very, very into that. Okay, I've got this queued up. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some chibi. I don't know if this is a video where his mom gets pissed because they keep sending her pizzas. <clears throat> or if this is the one where he gets busted. We'll find out. Best. Well, it won't be off until about another two hours from now because I'm in the middle of a speed run. Um, it's only one o'clock. Um, excuse me, mother, but I'm in the middle of a speed run of Paper Mario, and I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but it's kind of a big deal. So why don't you take your whore ass back upstairs, and I'll come slap you on the ass when I want breakfast. All right, big boys are up right now at one in the morning, speed running video games in your basement. I'm not going to do chores. I'm not going to bathe. I'm going to play video games. Now you just walk over into the corner with the sign that says shut the fuck up and you wait for me to finish. And this is the weekend. I don't care. Of course you don't. You don't care about anything. No, I don't care. Okay? We talked about this shit, about you being on it all night long. I'm not being on it all night long. I don't care about the weekend or not. It doesn't matter. Every day runs together for you. Uh, no, actually it doesn't. Adam? I like how he went silent there. I don't know if you noticed what happened, but this is a nightmare scenario for, for our little speedrunner. He's known as Chibi Necodemix, but his mother got angry enough at him to use his name. Adam, all the days are running together for you. You need to, you know, wash your balls. It smells terrible down here. I met this man, this Canadian man named Mr. Peterson. I think he can help you. But Chibi is talking all this shit back to her. But the moment she says Adam... Suddenly he gets quiet. It's not happening. Why do you keep insisting on it? I'm so sick of going over and over this shit with you. So am I. Then why aren't you listening to me? Because I have a life to live and I'm living it. <laughs> just, uh, I will that. Uh, excuse me, mother. Uh, I have a life I'm living in the basement at one in the morning, speed running Mario for three people watching me on Twitch. Um, <laughs> he said that. He said that in a serious manner. There was no. He's being. He really believes that. Like this is. I have a life. This is. This is my life. I wish. <laughs> what, what would his reaction be? If he sat in front of a mirror and said that, he's probably put a shotgun in his mouth. No, I'm going to unplug it if you get a smart mouth on you. Don't give me that crap. I'm not giving you any crap at all. Yeah, you are. I told you, this isn't happening all night long. It's not all night long. What? It's not all night long. It's not even close. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'll see. Dad made me promise 
told me to make sure this wasn't happening all hours of the night. Yeah, it it is. is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Three o'clock in the morning is all hours of the night. Okay. Adam. Why do you have to put me in these situations and these predicaments? You're the one putting me in no. the predicament. Yeah, I am. And I'm not unplugged. I believe this is your fault, Mother. If you just let me stay up uh, 24 hours a day playing my Paper Mario game, we wouldn't have any predicaments. <laughs> I like the title, too. 25-year-old Chibi interrupted during a speedrun by his mother. In his basement at his mother's house, speedrunning on Twitch for three people at two in the morning. And he's arguing with his mother that he does, in fact, have a life. As she chastises him. How embarrassing. How embarrassing to have your mother show up behind you on a live stream and tell you to go to bed. You need to get your big boy sleep. Okay, otherwise you're going to be cranky in the morning and I don't want to deal with that on the car ride to the therapist. They weren't now, dirty. Now they're getting yellow. You got oh, how devastating is this? She's on. <laughs> you need to wash your bed. It's piss stained. You filthy fucking animal. They're yellow. Your sheets are yellow. You don't smoke. There's only one way they're gonna get yellow. You're urinating in the bed. <laughs> You're sleeping in your piss. You need to wash your sheets. What is the matter with you? Food and your sheets. I'm telling you, Adam, I'm going to plug this. I, I swear I am. I'm going to plug the whole back of it. And the whole thing will be out. Compromise. No two hours. See, that's where she lost already. You're going to notice as we watch clips like this, because we're going to watch a few of them, that every one of these is the mother interrupting the son. And every one of them involves the word compromise. If you're a, if you're a fucking parent, and you need to compromise with your 25-year-old son that hasn't left the fucking house yet, and he pisses in his bed and doesn't... What to do? It's all fucking... It's like alien to him. Alright, unless it has a controller attached, he's lost. You've won the battle. There's no need to compromise. Just cut the fucking electricity off at the source. Right now, compromise on unplugging it. Two hours is all I can give you. Three o'clock in the morning is not acceptable. That's too late. You're down here too long doing this crap. I like how he keeps looking at the chat. That's where he's looking off to the left. He's reading his chat as they're saying, dude, uh, this is humiliating. But he won't look at his mother. He'll look at what people on the other side of the world have to say, but not the woman standing directly behind him in the same room has to say. <laughs> That's if you want to talk about socialization problems. He'd rather read his Twitch chat than look in his mother's eyes at all. For, for a second. I mean it. I'm unplugging it. Give me a compromise. That's the best I can compromise. That's not a compromise. Yes, it is. To guarantee that once the speed runs over, I'm done streaming. And what's gonna stop you from doing it tomorrow night, or the next night, or the next night? 
because I have work on Sunday, number one. Uh, it's the only day of the week that I work is that one Sunday for three hours down at the uh, local corner store where, where, where they have me clean the parking lot up. It's arduous. And I need the other six days of the week to play Paper Mario. What time? Uh, three to ten. Oh, then that's going to stop you. If you have work at three o'clock, that's going to stop you from being on it all night tomorrow night. Yeah. It will. Adam, this isn't happening every night. I'm getting really tired of this. You promised me you were gonna hit, that this things were gonna be different around here. You're the one making a big deal at 3 a.m. No, you promised things would be different, Adam. Can you imagine his mother's life? Like she has to get up. It's three in the morning. He's been up all night playing this shit. She has, <clears throat> she has to get up to go to work to keep the electricity on and to keep the mortgage paid and to keep food in the pantry. And every time she starts to slowly drift off to sleep, really loudly from the floorboards, because he's in the basement, she hears, Ding, ding, wahoo, yippee! Could you, <laughs> it'd be like Chinese water torture. How many bing, bing, wahoos could you stand listening to? before you took a baseball bat into your son's room. Things are not different. For a couple of days, you know, then, then they get better, and then all of a sudden it goes back to the same old shit again. This isn't even anywhere close to the same old shit. I'm, this. I'm gonna go as fast as I can, but I can't make any guarantees. Won't happen tomorrow night, no. Oh, he's so. It's <laughs> just <laughs> I want to reach to the screen and just slap him, just. Smack him across the face. <laughs> you're working. You're working one day a week on a Sunday. Your poor mother. Your poor fucking mother can't get to sleep because she keeps hearing fucking Mario screaming out "Bing Bing Wahoo Yippee" as you bounce around speedrunning this fucking game, night after night after night. She probably has nightmares about it. She probably wakes up in a cold sweat, thinking Italian plumbers have broken into her fucking house. Technically, I already have a time limit on this crap. Oh, and you can tell this motherfucker's deep into it. Half a fucking second after his eight-hour play session, then he's playing the fucking Japanese version for those quicker load times. So she's definitely hearing this shit all night long, every night, all day long. Every day. I, th I think he actually stunned her to silence in the morning. And she's just like, I don't fucking... Why didn't I have that abortion? Why didn't I let Harold... I'm guessing that's her husband's name. Why didn't I let Harold just take the coat hanger and shove it directly into me? What the fuck was I thinking? Why did I want to have children? I already pay for the internet. 
And yeah, I could offer to pay the electricity bill. Oh boy, here she comes again. You know, I know, I know there's an, let me see if I can find this here. Give me one moment. I know there's a video out there of his mother yelling at him because, because people started delivering pizzas to him while every time he would stream, they'd start ordering pizzas for him. And, uh, she could not fucking, st she could not stand it. Uh, let me see if I, let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. I found it. I, I found it. Uh, yeah, because he, he became a popular target to fuck with for a while. So they'd wait for him to stream, and then they'd just start doing all sorts of shit to him just to try to get a reaction. And his mother was always the one that had to deal with it. So I believe this is from when they were sending him pizzas nonstop, and his mother was not fucking thrilled about it. <laughs> let's, let's give it a watch. First one there, actually, but you need to, like... Hold on, let me just do this one. Um, you need to, like, not do super bad Give me ever. just a second. What? You need to get off of it. Two people now showed up. Passport pizza and breads. You need to shut this down. They see that you're on there. These kids see that you're on there. Adam, the internet keeps sending us pizzas. You need to shut it down, Adam. Mario Golf is not worth this harassment. I've had three pepperoni sent to me. Adam. Pulling the same shit again. Okay, so... Do you see, is there any way you can contact Facebook and tell them to block this bullshit? No, there isn't. Well, there's gotta be. There's gotta be a way to get on, to call Google, Facebook, something, email them, whatever, and tell them that they put your... I want you, you get on the phone right now, mister, and you call up Facebook and you say, stop sending us pizzas. You get a hold of that Mark Zuckerstern, or whatever his name is, and you tell him enough. Your name and phone number on there, and you need somehow to block it. We're going to lose our phone number because of this. Because I asked them, I said, what number did they call from? And they said they called from this number. You need to get off for the night. Thank God Dad isn't here. Because now, I, now I, can, I, I hear the phone beeping up there like someone's been calling in here, too. So I can just hardly wait. He was pissed. The guy from Passport was really pissed. I also like how the mom, <laughs> she's, <laughs> I don't blame her because she has no idea. But she's basically telling the people that are fucking with them that the businesses they're calling are getting even more angry. So every time they continue to do it, it's going to lead to a bigger and bigger escalation of an argument on the doorstep. Oh, those pizza guys were there. They were real mad. Those pizza guys were real upset, Adam. <laughs> the first thing they're going to do is order like 20 more pizzas. Phone number on that card he gave you, and tell him that they're doing it again to you. Oh, let me just let me check one thing here. Okay, volume's coming in fine. Sometimes the clips can sound a little a little low, but she's <laughs> we gotta call the police again. Those fucking pizza guys from Facebook keep showing up. <laughs> he goes right back to oh, it. He What's doesn't. Happening? He doesn't even care. I gotta go. Alrighty, dude. Because uh, people are. Yeah. yeah. People just. Yeah, I understand. As, we'll yeah, talk about like, it after. as soon as I went live, they. I guess they started ordering pizzas, and th like two or three pizza places have now tried delivering pizzas to us. Dude, that sucks. So I got, it, it it got a little bit worse than it did before. Oh shit, dude, that's pretty serious. We'll talk about it like after. Yeah. What you gotta do, dude? I understand. 
Oh, bro, that's pretty serious. Those Facebook pizza guys don't fuck around. You better, you better call the sheriff and the state police. Those Facebook pizza guys, they mean fucking business. It's, it's real serious, Adam. I'm afraid for your life. We'll try this again, like, other time. Yeah. Is Mona actually still here? I don't know. But damn. That really, really sucks. Oh. I just gotta do, dude. Sorry, guys. We can just end the race. We don't have to, like, complete it. Yeah. It's probably been. Sorry, I'll just quit the race then. Ah, uh, poor little Chibi. Uh, you know, let me, let me, I think there might be one more clip of this happening to him. Let me see if I can find it. I'll, I'll take a look, chat, and see if I can find some more Chibi gets pizzas delivered. Oh, <laughs> do you want to, <laughs> shit. I, uh, do you want to watch uh, Some Guy Calls Chibi's Mom? <laughs> do you, you want to watch the classic video clip of a guy... Uh, ratting Chibi out to his mother and informing her of Chibi's dick pics that were sent to minors on the internet? Uh, you tell me. Do we want to listen to the call of somebody calling uh, his mother up to say that your son is sending pornography to children on the internet? Or is that not something you're interested in? Oh, I'm seeing a lot of yeses pop up. I'm seeing a lot of yeses pop up. Okay. Hello? Let me, let me get this ready. Uh, we'll, I'll play this in one second. A couple people are asking, how do they know his address and who is this exactly? Uh, best way I can sum it up, it's a really awkward, socially awkward dude, right? He gets into the speedrunning and Let's Play community. Um, he starts to do moderately okay, and he gets a bit of a following going. Uh, but he's known for all his drama bullshit, right? And he eventually gets busted for cheating at speedrunning. Like, blatantly cheating at speedrunning. So badly so that people were able to catch him instantly. So he gets kind of driven out of the community. And the entire time this is going on, he's always going on Twitter and saying, I'm going to kill myself, my life is over, I don't want to live anymore, uh, everything is so sad, woe is me. And then people start finding him doing this really weird, creepy shit, uh, and then he gets doxxed, and then they proceed to fuck with him every time he tries to speedrun something and start calling his mother. So that's the really quick and dirty... Yes, ma'am. Um, I had some uh, information I wanted to share you that your son has posted pictures of his penis online and he admitted to sending them to a 17-year-old girl. What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what? My baby did what? Oh, oh, I could... She's going to go Kyle's mom on his ass. I just wanted to inform you that your 26-year-old son is sending his... Penis to children on the internet. <laughs> Jimmy! Yes, your son Adam sent pictures of his penis to an underage girl, and he posted the pictures of his penis online. Who am I, who am I talking to? This is Jonathan. Hold on a minute. Adam? <laughs> she goes to get him! Oh, Adam, you get up here right now. Are you sending pictures of your little willy whacker to girls on the internet? <laughs> I hope he asked for the mother's email so he can send her a picture of the dick and then she asks to compare it. Now, Adam, you listen here. I need to make sure. Are you really sending your tallywhacker to those kids? I need you to take your pants off, mister, and get a hard on for mommy because she needs to compare it forensically to these photos that Jonathan sent me. We need to get to the bottom of this. Show mommy your, your willy, Adam. I don't know, mother. I don't remember sending my penis to children on the internet, mom. <laughs> Speed running Paper Mario, come on. You didn't do it? No, I did not. Well, then why are you sending it? Hello? Don't. Uh... Don't talk to me. I gotta talk to you.
Did you hear? Yeah, hey ma'am, it sounded like we got disconnected. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's happening here. I'm really upset about what's happening here. Ma'am, if you provide me with your email address, I'll be happy to send the... Oh, he did! I know... <laughs> he did! The dude emailed pictures of his dick to his own mother! Oh, that is... That is savage as fuck! And... She knows they're yours! Those are my babies, twigs, and berries! Mama knows! <laughs> Give me your email. I want to send you pics of your kid's cock. Pictures to you. If you Who want. Who am I talking to, though? This is Jonathan. Okay, and how do I... And how did you... I mean, how are you affiliated? I mean, I just try to figure this out. Well, the 17... Just... The, the girl the girl sent the pictures to me, and she said that Adam sent them to her. Adam's... Uh, her name is Amy, but I don't know if he knew her by that name. He probably knew that knew her by her online name, and I'm not really sure what that is. But if you if you have an email address, I could I could send some stuff to you if if you like. Yeah, do that, please. Okay. I can't believe we're actually listening to this happen. Think about this for a moment. This dude, this dude sending his dick pics to chicks on the internet, and this guy calls his mother up, gets her email address. And then forwards those penis pictures to mommy. Adam's going to be going through his own version of Penis Inspection Day instead of live streaming for his audience on Twitch. That is fucking masterful. Hey, okay, what is your email? Hang on one second here. Do me a I, I just want you to know something. He's, he's got some issues. He has Asperger's autism. I just want you to know that my baby boy's got the autism, so him sending pictures of his uh, of his willy to people, that's pretty much normal for us. Uh, we can't keep his penis in his pants, really. Uh, we're not allowed in public parks anymore because he just, he just can't help himself. Uh, sometimes when we walk by sandboxes, he'll just start yelling at children and waving it in the air like it's a little flag. It's a little pole with a flag on the end of it. Uh, we don't know what to do. That's why we bought the taser. Sometimes he doesn't think clearly, and he doesn't make, he makes stupid choices and stupid decisions. Yes, ma'am. Never happen again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I understand. You know? Yes. He's a good kid. He just, I'm, in fact, I'm trying to right now, I'm even try, trying to get him on social security because he just, he's got a, you know, a yeah. disability. I understand. And uh, I know in big trouble for doing this and I will have a long talk with him and I'm just I'm sick about this yes ah uh, this poor mom what a nightmare it must be to have this fucking sped as her kid can you imagine getting calls from the internet about him sending his cock pictures to people just <laughs> pizzas getting delivered bing bing wahoo at three in the morning oh this poor woman she's not gonna make it to 50 like there's no way She's she's going to get an exit bag and get the fuck out of there. Ma'am, I understand. Please promise me that you, you, know, you won't worry further with this because I promise you this will never, ever happen again. Yes, ma'am. I won't. Don't worry. <sighs> and please ask her, and I, and I promise you that she, she will never hear from him again either. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. And this won't go any I understand further, your predicament. Okay? Don't worry. Yes, ma'am. Happy. I'm happy okay. to help. I'm happy to help. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody. I'll just upload it as a video on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Thank okay. you I'll, so, yes, so much. Yes, ma'am. I'll email you right now, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. And now he's online. Uh, I can read I can read it right now. He just said at 4.43 p.m., we exchanged pictures like that. She sent me pictures, too. And uh, it's almost like he's bragging about getting pictures from this underage girl. It's very disturbing, to say the least. Adam, he's not... He's, you, you said he's online right now? I could I can read what he said. Yeah, and the, it was five minutes ago. He posted because, it five minutes he's ago. Been up here, he's been up here talking to Social Security. 
Well, he posted these. I'm the, he, one that, I'm the one that texted you guys back. Ma'am, he can you post from my... his phone as well. He can post from his phone huh? as well. He can he can post messages did, did, from his did phone. You put something on there about how she sent stuff back to you too. Did you? No. I can Respond. read it. I can read it right now. I can send you screenshots if you'd like Hold to. On. Can you imagine the balls on this chibi guy? Adam is sitting in the living room as his mother is talking to a dude on the phone about his dick pics. And he, instead of trying to play it cool or to act like this isn't real or to just, you know, just hang his head down and ride it out, he jumps onto fucking Skype or social media or whatever the fuck this is from and starts, starts talking about it from his fucking phone. Okay, tell me. We exchange. Tell me what you were saying? Want me to say it? We exchange yeah, pictures ahead. like that. We exchange pictures like that. She sent me pictures too, is what he said. He said, I was 18, she was 17. Did you say that? Yeah, I did. Oh, he admitted it! He, he's not even good at lying! That, was, that wasn't even 30 seconds! Adam, are you posting up here? No, mother. Adam, did you say that? Yeah, I did. Oh, what a fucking tard. Well, because I just... I don't know. Chibi's kind of scary. Chibi's kind of scary to her because... I would be more than happy to talk to her. He has, he has a girlfriend right now that, he's, that, he's, that he really cares about a lot. And, um... She said that you know, he had some really violent, like, I don't know, fetishes and stuff. He wanted to have sex with men and make her watch and things like that that were just very disturbing. Oh, no, 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 Adam, what are you doing? Oh, Adam, mommy's hearing about all your dirty thoughts. Oh, he wanted to fuck men and make her watch it. <laughs> Miss, Miss Chibi, Chibi's mom, your baby boy wanted to get pegged in his ass while she watched it happen. Yes, ma'am. What, wait, wait, what, back then? Yeah, he wanted to have sex with a man and make her watch, and that really frightened her. She is fucking speechless. Could you imagine getting this phone call as a parent? <laughs> she doesn't know what to say. This dude just told her her son wants to get fucked in his ass while a kid watches it happen. And she doesn't know what to say. Like I said, if there's anything that I can do, if I can talk to this girl, I would be more than happy to talk to her. He will not, you know... He, will, he has not done anything like that. Back then, I know he was, he, he dated someone, we, we said, Adam, though he was 18, he had the mentality of a 13-year-old. Yeah, I understand. You know what I mean? I understand, yes, um, ma'am. I'm sorry to trouble you with Adam, this, I didn't mean to, old, you know, yeah. yeah. he had some weird fetishes back then. He's really a nice, a nice guy, I don't know, he just, he has had... Ah, oh, it sounds to me like the mom's trying to hook her son up. Like, hey dude on the phone, Jonathan. Listen, you know, my baby boy, he's a pretty, he's a pretty, you know, he's a pretty good looking kid. I mean, he's 20, you know, 25, I shouldn't call him a kid, but he's kind of retarded, so we'll just act like he's a kid, but he's a good looking guy. You, uh, you free Saturday night? Let's make that fetish, uh, that fantasy happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know this girl. Why don't you fuck my, uh, baby boy in his bottom? And she can watch it, we'll, we'll stream it on Twitch. <laughs> It'll be a great show. He's trying to do something on, um trying to do something on the internet and, and working for a company and he's got all kinds of people calling him and tell telling him that they want to try to commit suicide, they don't need any autistic kids on, online, and they don't need any autistic kids, any autistic gamers. Oh, that's really sad. And on there, and I know he used to wear this stupid collar around his dumb neck. Oh, she knows about it. Yeah, that's the dog collar I was talking about. She calls it a stupid color. I'll try to dig up pictures. There's some pictures I don't think are publicly out there of what he used to look like and the retarded shit he used to wear. Um, I Let me try to give you a basic idea of what these pictures look like. I want you to imagine him with his hair dyed dark, like dark black, and a studded dog collar around his neck with uh, mascara and painted fingernails. And then he's got um, really long, like baggy pants, and he's got a little fake tail 
that's glued onto the back of his jeans and dog ears because he's a furry too by the way did i mention that so he's got the dog collar on the furry ears the tail and he's wearing heavy makeup yeah why did he why did he wear the collar i, I was very confused yeah huh? why did he wear that collar i was i was confused by the oh okay Uh, no, that's that's not why. That Chibi's mom, he lied to you. Your son was a deviant. He just was afraid to tell mommy that he was into some kinky shit. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. He had some crazy ideas. Like if he took the collar off, he would die. Mommy, I can't take the dog collar off. I'll die if I do that. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same thing to say to your parents at the dinner table. Crazy, crazy. He was a big guy, is what you're saying. I understand. What's that? He was a big guy. No, he just had a lot of crazy, crazy ideas that that <laughs> were just a little off the wall. Hello. Yeah. Just, just a little off the wall. They're just. Uh, it's a little weird. You know, wants to have an underage girl watch him get fucked in the ass by a stranger. Uh, won't take his dog collar off because he'll die if he does that. You know, just minor weird things. Please don't say anything about my autistic crazy son. I don't want my baby boy going to big boy prison. I don't think uh, I don't think he's gonna last. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I don't think our little Chibi's gonna last. Oh, oh, the autism. Chat the fucking autism of it. Oh boy, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't watched Chibi. I, I, I have not heard that call before, uh, but that's some, <laughs> some pretty good shit. And that's been up there for only a year. So somebody re-uploaded that. That's obviously a video that was up there a long time ago. Just got put up again recently. So well done, NTR is for Thinker. Uh, thank you for sharing that with the internet. Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, let me see if I can find. Since we're on the subject of mothers uh, yelling at their children. <laughs> I don't know what I I can't remember his fucking name uh, let's see if I can find this shit oh my god uh, Roblox kid mom yelling maybe oh it's the it's the uh, maybe you can help me out chat it's the kid the kid that said he, he was his mother caught him looking at porn while he was live streaming and uh, he told her he got hacked, and the virus scared him so much, his pants fell off. Does anybody remember what that kid's name was? It happened in Roblox. I'll wait for chat to catch up. Somebody has to remember that fucking kid's name. Because I, I know that clip is out there somewhere. Awesome, Nader. Thank you. I, that, that's pretty, that's close enough. Oh, did they take them all? No, there's no way they took them down. Uh, here we go. Listen. Okay. Let me get the setup for this going. Yeah, people, uh, people have heard this before, obviously, because people can remember the name. But uh, it's a collection of clips. We'll watch some of it, see if you guys like it. I'll set the backstory for you. I want you to imagine a kid that's like probably 12 or 13 years old. I, I cannot tell you for the life of me why this is recorded. Okay, what you need to understand is this little deviant is he's obviously watching pornography while he's either live streaming or in a call with people. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, mommy finds it. She walks into the room while he's beating off, and then he is a, it's a hot mic. He doesn't understand that he left his mic on. So his friends, his friends record the entire thing and then upload it on the internet for everybody to have a laugh, or a laugh at. And his name is Awesome Nader. So let me um, let me throw that one up. Let's. Uh, what do you say, Chat? You want to give it a listen? Let's give it a listen. But listen, it's a virus. Listen, Harris, and I'm sorry, but I need to, you. I have to have your dad talk to you about this because mom's not very good about no, it. No, mom. I, it's, listen, mom. I was searching I around. I was searching around Show the. Me. I was searching Why around. Why are you the, playing with yourself? 
I was searching around the Nathan, internet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Listen. No, I, I, know you're curious. I was searching around the. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Mom, I was searching around the internet. And all of a sudden, I, I was downloading this thing, and I got a computer me, virus. Me. I want to see it. Show me what you were downloading. I randomly... D oh, she has, like, the most stereotype. Are you touching your willy? <laughs> oh, shit. What he's jacking off to with his mother. But she has literally caught him with his pants down. And she's demanding to see what he was watching. That is like, that is nightmare material. That's the kind of shit that wakes up a teenage boy in the middle of the night with like night sweats. Like that is the worst case scenario of something that could happen. And it is happening to him while it's being fucking rebroadcast to people. I already no, show it to I me. deleted the virus. No, you did not. I have to have your dad go through all this I stuff. got scared because I deleted the virus and I No, you're embarrassed. No, mom, Nathan, for real. You listen to me. You don't play with your I didn't. All right. I have to go to the bathroom. My parents. Oh my god. You don't get it, do you, mom? Mom, you don't get it at all. Don't play with your I did. <laughs> uh, she's still scolding him while she's taking a shit in the toilet. You don't play with your ding dong. Oh, this poor fucking kid. Oh, he is scarred. You're right, Jet. He is fucking scarred for life. There's no coming back from this. Yeah, they did. Oh my god, mom. I had a computer virus, and I got scared that I had the virus. And when I was getting out of my chair, my pants were slipping, and I was pulling them up and getting back on the chair. Nathan, don't look at stuff like that. Mom, I, it was a virus! It was a virus, Mom! Okay. I think we've all been there. I know sometimes when I notice a virus alert on my computer, my clothing spontaneously comes off. I can't tell you how many times Kapersky has pinged me and said, we've, we've got a problem here, champ. You've got a computer virus. And my pants just, they just come right off. So do my boxers. And then for some reason I get an erection. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's maybe it's some subliminal messaging in the antiviral program, but I think we've all been there. Yes, and then I was pulling them up because I got scared of the virus. Oh my God, Mom! For real. You can hear the pure fucking terror in his voice. Like, this is this is a sort of shit that puts somebody in therapy 20 years later. Like, he wants to be anywhere but here. To have any other conversation but this one. But his mother won't fucking let it go. Like, she just she keeps it going. This, is, this call goes for like 10 minutes. And this poor kid is on the verge of a nervous fucking breakdown.
Holy shit, lady. Just let him have it. Just, just, just fucking lie. Just be like, okay, it was a virus. And then you can have dad talk to him later. I, I don't know why she won't let it go. I, she, cause you can hear. Just, it's, you can feel the fear dripping off of him. Like, you can just visualize it. But she won't let the point rest. She just won't let him get away with it. <laughs> You're not in trouble. But I know you were touching yourself. And I just want you to know, every time you masturbate, your dead grandpa and grandma are watching you. Their ghosts are in the room, and they watch you abuse yourself. Don't be mad. You're not in trouble. But every dead relative you have is watching you touch yourself. I just want you to know that. In the morning. And you're annoying. Okay, they, they cut that audio down. Uh, somebody asked, is it 20 minutes of that call? No, it's not. Because apparently this kid and his mother fight all the time. So this is like a compilation of him and his mom having arguments. And I think after that, getting caught uh, jacking off by his mother, like, that was the line in the sand for him. Like, after that day, he decided, gloves are off now, Mom. Like, when you come for me next time, I'm throwing punches back at you. Talk to me like that, because I'm telling Dad. I'm going to talk to Dad about it. Yeah, is Dad your father? No, he's your father, and he's not going to be too happy Then why do you act like he's yours? Oh, blown the fuck up, bitch. Come on. Gamers rise up. Can I get an RRU in the fucking chat? He blew her out of the fucking water. Is he your dad? I didn't think so. Shut the fuck up. Nathan. Smarten up and go to bed. You have to get up. I already bed. am smart. I'm going to fifth grade. No, you're not. Because you know what? You don't listen to Oh, uh, yeah, I am. You're not. No, you're not smartening up because you don't listen to your mother. Who are Let's you, go. Mrs. Government? Let's go, please. Are you the fucking government, bitch? I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't see a badge on you, lady. Get the fuck out of my room. Nathan, I said to shut it off. Why don't you listen to me? I don't know if you caught that chat. Uh, he called her a prick and then she beat his ass. Let's listen to that one again. I said to get off. I'm getting so sick of this every night. Well, get on my face and I'll shut it off. Gee. Well, jeez. I say it nicely. Nathan, please. How many times have I called to you? How every that, single night. How's that nice of you? Hey, don't think of this. Talk with you. I want you what out. The heck? Now I'm not shutting it off. Cause yeah, you will. Fine. God. Is this what you want? Is this how I have to respond to you? I don't Nathan, know. I talk to you and I go. <laughs> you want to hit me, bitch? I'm calling the authorities. I'm going to get child He's. I think he's in child support. I'm going to get child support up in this house. Oh, you're in trouble, lady. You ain't the government, bitch. I'm going to introduce you to the government. They're going to put cuffs on your ass. Nathan, I didn't even hurt you. You hurt me every time you don't listen to me. Do you understand me? Child support phone number. Nathan, don't you dare. I will. You will never have a mother again. That's your fault. Oh, he's lighting this bitch on fire. <laughs> There's no mercy now. You couldn't let him just have it, could you? You just had to keep pressing him on jacking off. Well, now he's going to war, lady. He's calling child support. And those motherfuckers, they went to justice school. Your ass is grass. You don't do that to me. Hit your son with a complete, like a complete do. Okay, that's being a do. What's the only man. solution, Hanny? No, it's not. Then but don't do it. Then you know what, Nathan? Start listening, and maybe Mom won't have to respond like that. Well, you know what? You're, now I see you're a bad you mother. You're a bad mother. Oh, put this bitch in a casket. This motherfucker buried her. Oh, is violence the answer, mother? No, it's not. Well, then maybe you should stop hitting me. Oh, he's just tearing her apart today. 
No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Well, you're a bad son because you don't listen. Go ahead. Tell me what you want to say. It's not going to offend me because you're well, It's not going to affect me either because I'm sick of it. Now I know why your father actually... Well, you know what? Does. If you're going to be a complete douche... Okay, I, I think we need to re-listen to that line because I'm... I, I'm always, I'm almost certain she said, now I know why your father <laughs> used to hit. Let, let Listen really carefully to what she said. It's either why your father acts like this or why your father used to hit. Listen to me. Get out of my face. Go to bed. Now I know why your father acts like Well, you know what? Does. If you're going to be a complete douche like that, then I won't shut Don't it down. talk to me like that. I gave you life. And you treat the me only like thing crap. The only thing you're trying to specifically give me right now is a bunch of bruises because you don't know how to parent properly no, for crap. No, that's not. <laughs> oh, you're abusive. I'm calling child support. Oh, oh, he's just no prisoners today. Your little baby boy had enough of your shit, lady. Oh, you just couldn't let him jack off in peace. You just had to keep pushing him. Pushing him and pushing him. <laughs> now it's now it's time to throw down. He took your best hits, and he's coming back for more. That's true. It is true. Nathan, I asked you, please go to bed. You have to get up in the morning. I yes, yeah, hitting me in the head a million times yeah, asking. Okay. Get the heck out of my room. You know what, Nathan? I asked. I didn't hit you when I asked you. I said it, Nathan. I called to you since ten thirty. Actually, 20 after. Yeah, and you said I can stay on. No, I said I want you off by 10. You know, and you should really watch... keep your words, because you said I could stay on for no. a little bit longer. And I you said still at... keep causing bullcrap. Nathan, I said at 10 o'clock, please get off so you can go to bed and watch a show. And then you said I can stay up longer, so bullcrap. No, crap. I didn't. Bullcrap. You know what? Stop talking to me like that. Your friends act better than you. Cool. I don't care. Go to bed now. You better listen. No, because you kept hitting me. Nathan? You can again? No. Because then go to bed. God, you're annoying. <laughs> Stop acting like such a spurg, Mom. Get the fuck out of my room. What, are you going to hit me, little lady? Doesn't hurt. I'm calling child support on your ass. I don't like you either. You're a bad mother! You're a bad mother! You're a bad mother! You're a bad mother! He's straight up bullying her now. <laughs> he's, he's reached the point where he's taunting her ass. <laughs> he just, he talks shit to her face and now he's literally taunting her. He's fucking with her for laughs at this point. like that. Funny thing is my friends agree with me 100%. What, Nathan? I'm so tired of the way you treat me. Cool, I'm tired of you too. How many different ways can I say this, bitch? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do you need me to draw you a picture? Hey, <laughs> let me draw it with both my middle fingers. You getting the idea now, lady? No fucks are given in the Zoomer Zone. <laughs> you need to get the fuck out of here. All right, go back to the old age home. Daddy doesn't love you, and neither does his son. Nice job physically all. hitting your son, too. Oh, uh, yeah, recording. I did it. And you know what? You wanted to be treated like that? Your fault. Funny thing is that you're the one hitting me in the first place. What? Okay, I don't care. You hit your son. Well, you know what? You're gonna be treated the same way if you're gonna be the douchebag who hits their son all the time. Hi, I'm my only solution to fix my son is hitting. 
I like how he's he's literally turned the tables on her. Like she caught him jacking off and wouldn't let it go. So now he's got her by the metaphorical balls. And he's not going to let that shit go. Oh, you hit me, lady. And I'm going to tell you about it every single fucking day of your life. Remember when you couldn't walk away and just say, yeah, sure, it was a virus? It's fucking payback time. And plus, if you broke these headphones in the process of hitting me, then guess what? Then you... So you're lucky these didn't break because of you. I'm not going to bed at 10.30 because it's... I'm getting older, Mom. I should be going to bed later than 10.30. Um, but guess it's what? actually you 11. Think, you, think it's, you think it's such a big deal about me not going to bed at stupid 10.30. It's such a big deal that you hit your own son. You shouldn't even be hitting your son in the first place. Terrible mother you are. I don't mean to do that, but next time- If you don't mean to do it, then don't do it all! <laughs> it's just- he's just feeding her to the dogs! I don't know, let me- let's take a pause at this for a second. We're about halfway through of, uh, the incredible conversations of Awesome Nader and his mother. What do you think, chat? You think, uh, you think this kid is just, uh, I, I see a bright future ahead of him. <laughs> his mother beats him, and then he tells her ass, You know those headphones you bought me that you broke when you smacked me? I'm gonna make your ass buy me another pair. You don't know who you're fucking with here. I am awesome, Nader. You stepped to the wrong motherfucker today. She's weak, it's pathetic. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, it's halfway. There's their other conversations. Um, I hope this one, there, I heard audio once of this kid, uh, where he started talking about why his father left her. And it absolutely fucking destroys her. Like, just hear her soul break in half. Like, no fucking prisoners. Like, ever since that jack off thing, this kid's been out for fucking blood with his mother. And he's gonna get it one way or another. I, I don't, I, I, we're not gonna do a pull. Oh, I, oh, I got a super berry though. Let me take. Let me, let me pause for one second and read my superberry, because I need I need my shekels. I I need to make all the whole two dollars that popped up. That's big fucking money. Let me, let me read what we got here. Some deep insights on to our little awesome nader, and we'll get back to the uh, to the festivities. Uh, one moment, chat. I'm gonna pull up the back end and do some technical things. From HTRTU. Awesome Nader is Sargon's kid he never had. ZRU for Zoomers Rise Up. Can we get a ZRU in chat? Can the Zoomers rise? Spontaneous penis come combustion. And it's a link. Jim, if you could play a minute or two of this <laughs> nigger dancing. It got the most fire moves. Also, skip a minute if you play it, since it's black and white at the start. Uh, if we have a chance to, yeah, I'll, I'll play it on stream. Uh, just two more here, and then we're back into the video. Check out Speedrunning in a Nutshell video. It's some great shit, and it's not very long. And finally, from Necro13. Hey, Jim, do you remember Hyrule Bard from October who lied about having lupus? Ah, uh, very vaguely. Uh, the only one that I really I, I kind of paid attention to when it comes to faking shit online like that would be... And I can't even remember his name right now. It was the guy that went after Meriwether. So there's there, there was this guy that used to be a video game journalist. And he had a fake, uh, he had a scam going, essentially, for a fake cancer that he had. And what he would do is he'd go to people and say, if you don't promote my fundraiser, I'm going to write a smear article against you and whatever outlet I'm working for at the time. And he did this to, I guess, numerous people. Uh, and Meriwether was the most recent one he did it to. And they finally came forward with the information and people started looking into him. And uh, it all fell apart for him. Uh, GoFundMe or whatever shut down the fundraiser. Uh, the police were contacted, and then recently I read that uh, they pressed charges. It's like uh, felony theft by deception or something in Pennsylvania. So he's going to go to prison. Uh, that's the most recent thing that I've been caught up with. Chris King, somebody said. I, I believe that was his name. That was a whole shit show. I'm pretty sure they've got updates over on Kiwi Farms. Uh, and I'm fairly certain the guy that's facing charges is Chris King. I could be wrong. Who knows? All right, so we, we did our shekel chat. Let's get back to the good stuff.
Are you ready? Are you ready to continue the awesome adventures of Awesome Nader? As he makes his mother fucking pay for the shit she's done to him? Then listen to me. Stop making Well, you know what? Even if I didn't listen. Times, even if I didn't listen. You shouldn't be the douchebag who pissed the wrong son. Stop calling me that. Well, yeah. You're the douchebag, son, well, that can't go to bed when well, he's you know told. what? If you're going to have a problem with being called those names, then then you're going to have... You're not going to start calling Then that's your that. problem, because you're the person that even brought it up. Well, then I'm going to start calling you that, because you call me that. And that makes you, you like that. And that makes you even more of one. Well, that makes you more of one, too. It goes both ways. Oh, you can hear the passive aggressiveness dripping. She's in, she, The mother is legitimately mad at this point. But it's devolved into a no you argument. That's that's you ever hear an argument? You ever read an argument on the internet on social media where people basically are essentially screaming no you at each other? That's what you're listening to between a mother and her son in real time in audio form. I uh, I know you are, but what am I? That's what she's been reduced to. Ha <laughs> ha! You're go to bed. Ha uh, ha! You're a douchebag. Nathan. Yeah, you said you're gonna call me one. Call me one. I'm not gonna be go offended. To bed. I'm done. No, I'm not offended. I'm not offended. No, I'm not offended by you. Go to bed. I've had it. Yeah, you. sure you're not. If you're not offended, then why are you crying like a little baby? I'm not even crying. Go to bed. You were. You're like, eh, why don't you respect me? He's <laughs> 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 full on shit talking her. Oh, come on. What's the matter, little girl? You're going to cry for me? You're going to cry for me, douchebag? Oh, let me lick your tears up. I want to feed off your fucking suffering, cunt. Showing me any respect. Now, you know what? Computer. Well, you know what? You don't need respect if you're gonna be hitting your son, physically hitting your son. Do that. So basically, me. you don't even deserve the stuff that you want. Nathan, what is your problem? What is your problem? If you're pissed because Dad and I aren't together, I'm, you're not gonna take it out on me. I don't care anymore. Is that your problem? No. The problem is that you're a bad parent. No, I'm not, Nathan. The what? Did you just... Oh, really? The what were... the heck was that crap? Like... I'm getting tired of you. This is my home. What was that crap the past 20 minutes ago? You don't ago. raise your voice to me. Ever. You're, You're going to start showing respect well, to me. Well, guess raising their voice, too. Go to bed now. I asked you too many times. I'm going well, to bed yeah. way too well, late. To I have to go you up in have... five hours. So don't you. Go yeah. to bed. Okay. So first of all, if you actually want me to go to bed, then why do you keep bringing up a bunch of bull crap? Go to bed, please. I can't if you're bringing up bull crap. You should realize that by now. I don't see you going. Yeah, and I don't see you leaving, so I actually can do that specific task. Stop yelling. Do you understand me? I'm not yelling. You're the one being a you're mental yelling. retard. Oh, oh God. I think he's, what's the term, gaslighting? I think he's trying to drive her insane. I'm not the one yelling, bitch. You're the one yelling. Stop being hysterical. Stop crying, okay? Man the fuck up. This is why dad left. All right, get your shit together, lady. Stop hitting me. What's the matter with you? You're so, you're so crazy. Oh, you're so fucking crazy. This is why dad left. Get out of my room. <laughs> he's trying to drive her to suicide. Yeah, and one of these days, you're not going to have me. So same thing goes with you. You want me to tell you something, Mom? The funny thing is, is that you already lost yours. I don't even care if you wake me up early. Because that is how I have to respond to you? Is that what you want? For uh, me to hit you? I don't you? know. Do you want me to call child support? Um, go to bed. Like a normal person. You want all your friends at better. I want me to tell you something. Maybe you should be a normal mother instead of being the idiot who keeps slapping her son. It keeps slapping their own shit. Well, maybe you should, be, you should be a normal son and start listening to your mother when she says it's time for bed. That was over an hour ago. Let's go, because I have to get up in the morning. I've had no sleep these past few nights because of you in here telling you to please get off the computer. Get off, get off. First of all, I wasn't. First of all, I only I say wasn't it once. even talking. I only when say it once. When you got in that bed, I wasn't I, talking. I don't care. I said I want you in the bed. You have to get well, up. The, the only problem that you've been You're complaining about was You're that. Okay, fine by me because we're not going to the water park anyway. Go to bed. 
Dad is picking you up in the morning. I told you that. But you just said I'm not going. If, you know what? It will be taken away and so won't this. No, it won't. Well, then get to bed. Well, first of all, does it even matter if I go? Does it matter? Dad wants to see you and you should spend time with him. Well, you know what? If you're going to say that, I don't really care that I'm not going because we're not going to the water park anyway just because Ashley's having this bull crap go. Yeah, you hear that, Ashley? Fuck you. Okay? <laughs> Fuck your shit, Ashley. I don't want to go to the water park. I want to stay at home and make my mother cry. That's my new objective. Wouldn't let me jack off in peace? Now it's time for blood. All right, Ashley, I'm not interested in going on the fucking water ride. I'm getting on the little inflatable tubes and shit. I've got a mission. It's to put this bitch six feet under. Not getting in the way of that, Ashley. Not going to happen. Go you on. know what? Stop it. No. And you know what? First of all, that talk in this house is unacceptable. You don't say the words bull crap. I'm tired of the way you talk. Your friend talks better than you. He acts better than you. He's nicer to his mother. Do I get that? No. You shit on me all the time. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to stop you doing the, the things that things I... to me. Nathan, how do you, how, how do you expect them to react to you? you my feelings all the time how, you don't listen to me correction how do you expect me that blackhead correction how do you expect me you to how, no correction how do you expect me to answer to you i say it nicely nathan now go to bed please hurry up remember what i said earlier you're i see a, <laughs> i see a lot of people in chat saying he deserves a brutalizing I don't necessarily disagree, but you have to understand that this is the monster she created. Okay, this helicopter parroting shit that she does has made him this way. Instead of having normal boundaries and a normal lifestyle, she's a single mom and dad's out of the picture, and she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. And she has absolutely 100% lost control of her son. And he knows it. He's pissed. Like, she wouldn't stop embarrassing him about, you know, getting caught masturbating. And he's out for fucking blood. And she made him like this. And uh, good luck, because he's going to be bigger than her pretty quickly here. And slapping him is not really going to have much of an effect. And, it, again, it comes down to this let's compromise shit. She spent ten minutes trying to get him to go to bed. She should have just unplugged the fucking computer and thrown his ass in bed. But she didn't think of that. She wants to talk him down from it. Got the box. Nathan. What the heck are you talking about? Nathan, I am Stop. so serious. You need that. Do you, you even understand? know what I was talking about? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's no. it. Go. Right now. No. I am so tired of this. Shut this thing off. Well, I have to save it first. God. You know what, kid? You pushed my butt. Screw you. Now we're going to get real here. Oh, oh shit's getting real, Chad. Okay, mister, when you told me to piss off, it's it's go time. I'm going to get, I'm going to take the last possession your father left here before he ran away with that 20-year-old, which is a belt. I'm going to beat the living shit out of you, buddy. Okay. Go to bed. Bye, mommy. Because guess what? I've been doing a lots of workouts and stuff with the Boys and Girls Club this year, so I'm pretty sure I can beat. And remember, before, I knocked you down in less than five seconds. You are not to touch your mother like that. You are to show respect. Then why are you touching me? Because, you know what? Because you're a bad mother. He legit just said, I can kick your ass. You're right, Chad. He is becoming self-aware. He just told her, try me, bitch. I will win. Try to take me on physically. I'm ready for this. I've been training at the fucking YMCA for the day that we draw blood. You're a bad son, Nathan. Go to bed. I've had it with you. Remember, I said you. I can't go to bed with you around in my room. And I left. Then get out right now. Sick of your fat butt in my room. Yeah. Why don't you calm down, fat ass? Why can't you handle an insult, tubby? What's the problem with you? Dad left because you're such a fat piece of shit. <laughs> Maybe stop eating so many Snicker bars, you tub of big lard.
Let's go. Hurry up. I will do it once you You're get out of my right room. Now. No, right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stop! Get out and I will! Maria, get you don't out and I will! Yeah, she's the one that did the same crap. Hurry up. Get out and I will! I don't have to get out. Do it right now. You're gonna start showing me. I things. will do it once you get out! God! I'm tired of you. You're talk you're saying the same stuff. So big deal, right? Shut it up. Big deal, you're saying the same stuff. Why don't you just go to bed if you actually wanted to go to bed? Yeah, I see you. I see you. What do you think I'm doing? Well, you know what? You're the one getting me mad in the first place because you don't understand crap. Anything, I, I said, come on. I said, shut that up. Well, geez, you're acting like the gorilla mom today. <laughs> you're a fucking gorilla. Hey, hey, Tubby, I want you to oink for me, Piggy. Can you oink for me? Can you get your fat ass through that door frame? I see you out there. Maybe we should get some butter and I'll, I'll lather your side so you can fit into my room, you fat piece of shit. And let's have a physical throwdown because I'm ready for it. Shut it up. How many times do I get to say, Nathan, go to bed? Nathan, go to bed. And then finally, I got to blow? Is that what you want? Just listen and no, shut the thing No, I won't talk. You're going to play it tomorrow. What the heck? Come on. Don't put the heck on me. When I tell you something, you do it. Now, if I have to... Is that the only important thing in life? Is that the only important thing in life? Your only important thing. I have to get up for work. And your you only important thing is me getting off the computer. Yeah. We've been listening to this for 14 minutes, lady. <laughs> You've lost this conversation. This fight is over. He has won this fight. Just walk away. Walk away with some dignity. <laughs> he basically called you a bitch, said he'll, he'll fight you physically. He wants to 1v1 you. And then he said you're fat and a gorilla. Like, just take the loss. Take the L and go. Okay, what the fuck just happened there? Mom, it really I talk. suck. Your fault. And I'm sick of you disobeying me. You don't understand what crap. You, you don't crap. understand crap. Don't talk back to me. Well, you don't. I told you, if you listen very well, you'll get your Roblox card. Obviously, you don't want your Roblox card. And obviously, you don't understand crap. I told crap. you about listening and going to bed on time. I'm tired of you going to bed late. Oh, no, Nathan, you won't get your Robux card. You, and I'm sick of it. I'm going to have Dad set the timer if you don't start listening. At this point, Nathan turns into your average teenage girl. Yeah, Dad set the timer. Yeah, I will. Dad set the timer. Dad set the timer. Dad do this. Dad do that. He's not your father. Dad is your father. He's, He's not yours. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to do all that. Actually, no. Correction. You're not his, you're not his mom, so you can't just tell him to do crap well, like that. You will do it because oh he's your father. Oh, God damn it, Nathan. Now, get, you can hear DS in bed. Now, go to bed. Go to bed. You can have the DS or I'll throw the DS out. Take your pick. Enough with the shit. What? You're not staying up anymore. Go to bed. You are getting up early. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I should have had you go I go to Auntie Kathy's early. I should be dropping you off in the morning. Auntie Kathy's like, I said, I have to be to work for 7.15. So you could have been getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't I don't even care when I wake up. I just want no, to stay on I this. I should have made you go to bed because you, she could have babysat you. I'm going to start having babysitters. No. You're going to start getting up early. No. I'm then not. Go to I'm, I'm not having a babysitter. No, I'm I'm gonna have a babysitter. No. Then go to bed. If you don't start listening. Yeah, that's a bullcrap choice to make. I'm gonna have a babysitter. If you don't bull stop. crap. Shut that off. Yeah, you're gonna do a bunch of you things that your kid doesn't want here. I'll wake you up at five, Nathan. 
I don't care. I don't care. They can have a five. Like I'm gonna honestly care. I said shut that thing on. If I gotta do it, stop. Go and I will. Go on. You're an annoying mom. I wish I didn't have you. This point, I don't even care what the heck is going on. I don't care if you want me to do anything. Oh wow, really Ronaldinator, really! Oh, oh, that was, that was something else, Jeff. There are any others? I could, there were, I swear there were more clips of this kid. Oh my god, is this him? Hey guys! Oh my god, this is him! Is this awesome, Nader? Hold on one second. Hey guys, me and my friend Sean here. We are gonna do a video tomorrow. Oh no. no. Okay, this is some different kid who mistakenly picked the worst name possible when it comes to online handles. Oh, I thought that was him for a second. I was like, oh, god damn. Oh. Hey, you fuck. All right. Did you enjoy the awesome Nader? I, I saw I saw a lot of people in chat saying uh, they would have stone cold stun or uh, stone cold stunned his ass. They would have uh, devastated him. Uh, again, if you're a parent, the compromising shit doesn't work. You can't sit there for 15 minutes trying to negotiate with your child. You either set the boundary or you're gonna have them drive over it in a dump truck and then <laughs> throw your body in the fucking back cab. Like, did you hear at the end of that? She was so worn down from that 15-minute conversation. She's like, okay, you can go to bed with your DS. This, she should have walked in there, yanked the fucking power cord from the wall, taken his 3DS and thrown it out the fucking window, and then said, get your ass in bed or I'm throwing you out after that fucking 3DS. <laughs> you can play the 3DS in the hospital because that's where you're fucking headed. <laughs> Somebody in chat, if you ever have kids, beat them, it pays off. Yeah, she, she lost the battle. Now, I think she brought this on herself because she's just a terrible parent. I should have called this segment Single Mothers. But um, it's just, just, just awful. Negotiations don't get you anywhere. Compromise doesn't get you anywhere. Maybe if they're teenagers, you can compromise. But when they're, when they're kids like him, what the fuck are you doing? And if they're 25 like Chibi was, like Adam was, they throw him out of the fucking house. <laughs> it's the same with that Final Fantasy quote kid. Um, Bo Heepins. He was like 26, 27, didn't want to work a job, played video games all day. Got angry because his grandma told him he's basically a fucking loser and he couldn't handle it. It's the same story. We keep seeing the same story over and over again. It's weird how that plays out. Jim sounds like a mean dad. I believe in boundaries. That's all. Just some good old-fashioned boundaries. What's that saying? Spare the rod, spoil the child? I think you're looking at a generation of spoiled children. Uh, but let's switch it up a little bit. Uh, I won't go into depth on this, but we'll watch a little Cosmo. Cosmo's not around anymore. Narcissa Wright has left the building. But there's a compilation up, uh, the Narcissa Delusion. Top crazy moments. I don't know, chat. Do you want to watch a little bit of Narcissus? Do you want to watch a little Cosmo post-op? Watch a, a few more of these wondrous speedrunners and video gamers? Do the retards want to <laughs> do the retards want to rise up? Is that what we're doing? Oh, you want me to put up a smasher pass on Narcissa? Okay. Let me since somebody demanded this as a poll. I know Ralph does this every fucking day. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's see how this goes. All right, chat. I just want you to tell me, uh, would you smash your pass on Narcissa? All right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's, let's begin this. Let's do, let's do it. Hey, you fucking old fake fans, you fucking piece of shit. Guess who's playing some Zelda? That's right, the great fucking me. Now go worship me, bitch. 
I was so far up on the top that I was like in outer space, all right? There is something about me that no one can take away. The consistent number was 10k, 10k, 7k to 10k. Ah, oh, Cosmo, what the fuck is going on with you, bro? Like, your hair looks all ratty and shit. I, I don't even... Does Cosmo have cancer? Is there an explanation for why their hair looks like that? I, I, I don't fucking know. It just looks horrendous. Everything about this is a train wreck. Like, you could put some effort into it. Maybe go to the store and buy a wig. Make yourself somewhat passable. It looks like you walked out of chemotherapy. Like your doctor just told you you had stage 4 cancer. And blasted you with pure plutonium. And your fucking hair is just dying by the minute. Okay, but, um, I want to surpass everything I've done in the past. It's time to sort of new fucking heights. Human psychology, bullying, attention, fame, the human ego. I've delved into these subjects. I've conducted experiments. I don't regret. It's really hard to sleep under the watchful eye of God. Oh, it puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> what? What is there? There has to be some correlation, some kind of connection between between speed running and insanity. I don't know why it is. I don't know what the exact connection is. But uh, uh, let me answer this so we can see what the, the actual results are. I'm going to pass on this one. It's a hard pass. <laughs> 62 people said yes. <laughs> are you are you behind on the stream? Are you watching a different portion of it maybe? <laughs> Make sure, is this coming through properly? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, you guys are horny little fuckers. Okay. I, I don't know what the connection is, but there's something going on. <laughs> there's nothing left. Ocarina of Time, any percent. World record in 1915. Set by the great me. Well, okay, here's the thing though. I never actually slept on stream though. I only laid down and like laid on the bed for like 20 minutes or something. Actually, now that I think about it, how mad do you think Narcissa is about the whole streamy situation? Because after Ralph came here, right, um, and all these other people started streaming, some people doing 24 hour day streams, you got SPCC. Uh, you've got all these other different channels that are popping up that are taking positions on the leaderboard. So they're getting paid out. But I bet for a while there, running a 24-hour stream on Streamy with like 10 people watching puts you in the number one position. So Narcissa went from making, what's first place, like 650 bucks, So $2,600 a month. They, Narcissa went from making $2,600 a month sleeping on stream to making nothing. $2,600 a month to $0 a month. How fucking mad do you think they are? World record is subjective. World record is politics. And I'm here to prove it. I'm here to show you the hypocrisy of the term. The hypocrisy of the term. World record, something that seemingly, seemingly would apply to the entire world, but is actually in the minds of the people. It's in the minds of the people. And I, I display this to you. I show you. Um, Twitch is very restrictive, and like, I feel like I'm beyond, like, the style of content that they allow. Like, I'm ready to just, like, break free of it. I'm ready to just, like, break free of it. Free of it. Some days I'm a super bitch, up to my old tricks, but it won't last forever. And they didn't like that, and so I just left. It's like a bare room. Like, I imagine Narcissa, like, living in a broom closet. And every day, they depended on that Stream Me weekly contest money. And here comes, here comes good old boy, southern boy Ralph, drinking his whiskey, talking about barbecue, and all the goofy motherfuckers that come with him. And Narcissa goes from, like, first or second place to dead last to leaving the website. And I, you know, just as an aside, I don't think I'm violating Stream Me's policies, because if Narcissa isn't on the site anymore, I can talk about Narcissa. Also, I'm not stream sniping them. I'm watching a YouTube compilation. 
but that's 2600 bucks that just disappeared. Ooh, that's not going to lead to pleasant places. Because I think I'm just like ahead of the curve, and they're not changing the platform fast enough to meet my needs. I'm soul searching might be in order. What do you think I've been doing over the last, like, three years? I'm like, what do you think? Uh, if I had to guess what you've been doing over the last three years, taking way too much estrogen and crying while you let's play video games on streaming services? Maybe instead if you had, I don't know, gotten a job, gone to college, uh, not taken estrogen, and um, wore, you know, wore dresses in front of people, maybe you'd be in a brighter position right now. Maybe, maybe all the bad shit that's going on was brought on by you and uh, your poor life decision-making uh, abilities and skill set. Maybe that's what happened. I've been fucking doing... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should be crying this much when you play Zelda. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, I maybe it's, I, you know, like I, I the game's not that difficult, Narcissa. You shouldn't be brought to tears. You should be doing the Bing Bing Wahoo face, right? Open mouth, jumping up and down with your hands waving around. I don't think the appropriate reaction is being brought to tears. I don't know how many people want to watch a Let's Play of fucking Zelda, where you've got somebody fucking bawling on screen. Like, I'm in the middle of, like, crying horrifically vulnerably, and then, like, I get a knock on the door, and there's, like, a group of people who are, like, trying to help people have problems or something. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And then pulling out a gun and killing myself live on stream? Welcome to the 47%. I thought about that earlier today. Like, what do you think I've been fucking doing? Oh, please support my Patreon, please. Please. I just need another 1500 per month, please. Please support me, please. A fucking zombie! Look at that! Holy shit! It looks like a reanimated fucking corpse! I don't think that's edited! That's not like somebody fucking around in Photoshop. That's a direct screen cap. That's Night of the Living Dead shit. That looks she looks like <laughs> Narcissa looks like fucking Nosferatu from a Stephen King movie. <laughs> Look at the fucking teeth! Holy fucking shit. What a train wreck that person turned into. Narcissa, just fucking go back to calling yourself Cosmo. Alright? Just just turn back into a bro. And I think your problems will resolve themselves. Oh, let's see if we can find some more. Should we look for a little more on Narcissa? I, I don't know what we're gonna... I don't know what we're gonna find. A lot of people did, like, compilation videos... Oh. Muted. Terrifying. Terrifying. Wokimosabi, <laughs> the spirit of Danga has come back. I'll press F chat. I've been I've been possessed. I've been possessed by Kimosabi. Uh no, but if you want to watch it, it's 4chan V Bullies Narcissa. I've taken the the poll down. 73 of you want to bang this. I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Just shameful. Just shameful. All right, let me let me get this queued up. I don't know if it's any good. Somebody thought it was good enough to put the whole thing up, so we'll take a look. 
we will take a fucking look. All right, let's let's do it. Let's go. Oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to skip ahead to see where we get to the Frankenstein pictures here. Is this the right stream? I, I want to see something. I don't, I don't want to just watch them scroll through this. Oh, okay, this one's a bust. Not everyone's going to be a winner. Not everyone's going to be a winner. Let's back that out. <laughs> you know what, actually, fuck it, we'll watch... Watch this. I, I, you know, I'm actually kind of fucking surprised. Uh, I forgot about this. From anonymous. All right, let's. Uh, speaking of chibi necodemics, there was another clip. I cannot believe I fucking let this slip my mind. So we heard uh, the internet calling his mother about the penis pictures. Uh, the pizza's getting delivered. Mommy yelling at him about uh, let's playing too late into the night. But he actually uh, came to some prominence in a clip from uh, SGDQ from 2014. Let's take a look at that one. Let us take a look at that one. $50 from Anonymous. Here's $50 for the most awkward moment. If you ever wondered who that annoying guy that got told to shut up was, that's Chibi. Welcome back, guys. We're just getting ready for the next game. This looks fun. <laughs> oh, it is. Three, two, one, go. Hello, everyone. I am Caveman DCJ, and this is Tomba 2. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Well, I mean, it's more a plot than Bubsy has. It's weird. I always usually wear pajama pants, but I would say I wear jeans today. Yeah, you're not dressed for the occasion. I'm not. Yeah, me neither. Neither. I recommend all viewers to go get a nice cup of Joe, perhaps a bagel. <laughs> Dude, I love bagels. Just sit back. Uh, yeah, Wild smiled in the chat. Uh, the annoying guy is also a confirmed cheater. Uh, yeah, earlier in the stream, we were watching uh, Adam footage of his, his house getting bombed by pizzas and somebody calling his mommy up about him sending dick pics to underage girls. And now we're tying it back in. We're, we're bringing it back. It's a callback, right? Uh, and this is him. And uh, <laughs> not only did he get busted for cheating, but he's really fucking annoying in person, too. Can enjoy some breakfast, Tomba. Asiaga cheese bagel. <laughs> Yummy. I believe you. This game definitely has an interesting play style to it. How do you mean? Well, like uh, most uh, most games in this kind of style are like sort of uh, 2D scroll or 3D scrollers, whereas this one is kind of have a lot uh, has another dimension to it. Yeah, it's like 2.5D. 2.5Ds, yeah. Yeah, this get, used, get used to this song if anyone's listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the character design of this game kind of reminds me of Adventure Island. All right. We can <laughs> Here's my great insight to this. And then he's just like, yeah, all right. All right, shut up. Will somebody get this guy off the couch? <laughs> so get him off the couch. Bring me the guy that smells chairs. I'd rather have him sitting next to me. Please get this person out of the fucking building. This is an amazing time for donations. Like, just this game in general. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we have $20 from iNiffy. Here's $20. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in useful. And we have $5 from... We're not going to, because I like the boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> boomerang hype? Hype? So this is the case where getting crabs is a good thing? Yeah. I've never seen crabs used that way. 
and you won't ever again. That is the that is the end of the crab section of the run. Ripped crabs. Yes. <laughs> fast pants. They make you go fast. I want one now. <laughs> Equipment that you. I love the dead silence. He can't pick up on to it. It's like his mom said he has autism. He's on the spectrum. He can't pick up on the subtle hint that uh, nobody wants to talk to him. And they all want him to be quiet. And that poor fucker with that 70s porn stash in the pajama pants having a Tourette's moment next to him playing the fucking game. It's just boiling over inside. Just wants to turn around and smack him. Pick up. Oh yeah, I would hate to actually like have to put the pants on. <laughs> I mean... All right, rip, that. rip safety, Apple. I gotta go. <laughs> I mean, I could always wear the pants. We have $10 from Zarganian, and he says he's gotta give some money for his bro Chibi on the couch right now and get him some birthday hype. Hey, thanks, Zarkanian. We have $20 from Eoin, Tombi, Tombi Squirrel Suit Hype. Donating another $5 if the announcer can pronounce my name right. Hopefully I was close. Oh, yeah. This accepted. game is called Tombi with an I. No, Eoin, the donator. But I pronounced both of you wrong. Forgive me. I prefer Tomba. It makes him sound more masculine. <laughs> Does. I mean, he has pink hair, so he is a true man. My name is Tomba the Mighty. He doesn't actually talk, though. So he... <laughs> it's just. Yeah. It reminds me, like, there were clips on Jocktober with Opie and Anthony where they would talk about radio shows where there's no chemistry and how one guy would go for a joke and the other would kill it immediately right there. And that's what Porn Stash is doing. Every every time Jimmy tries to open his dumb fucking mouth, Porn Stash is like, yeah, no. All right, shut up. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in that. Stop. It's just, it's fucking, it's like secondhand cringe. It's almost painful to watch. Would never say that in any situation. He makes grunts. <laughs> That's kind of like talking. He could pretend he does. I have fast pants. We get turbo pants later. Now you're just making me excited. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for that. I don't think I am. I think I need some time to prepare my body. <laughs> he felt like he's so muscular, he just felt no change in his weight. <laughs> And Tomba just proceeded to put him in his pants. Well, yeah, I got fast pants. Never doubt the powers of weapon space. All right. I just, I, fucking, somebody said mustache guy is just as bad. I mean, you're correct. But Chibi Adam, when he's there, he, he's such a focal point for autism that it just, it directs all attention in the room onto him that even the other autists are, like, giving him looks. Like, really? This fucking guy? Really? From Brendan3, love Tomba 2. I never fully beat it as a kid and just managed to beat it for the first time a couple of years ago. You've made my workday so much better. Oh, someone else has a birthday today. What are the odds? <laughs> right? It's kind of coincidental how, like, in most games, pigs are evil. Such as? Well, Diddy Kong Racing, Zelda, Mother. Thank you for the list of evil pigs in video games. You're welcome. Dude, how come I never saw this Christmas special as a kid? It's, you can see the hate developing. Like, he's, he's, he's getting there. We're getting to the good part. Like, it's just, he wants to fucking strangle him. It's a, it's a rare game, I guess, really. <laughs> 300, I thought it was like 60. Well, like new, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a space pig. <laughs> the greatest trick. Since when did Super Mario Brothers U get here? Good joke. So confirmed, Santa's number one helper is a squirrel. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> Look at his face! Look at that! Look at the face! He looks like he got fucking punched! Let's smack that up. 
Just watch really closely. Pay real close attention to his face as he says this. It's glorious. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> Did you see that? It's, it's not even... There's not like a... But yes, you are correct. from Dracu. The Tom B2 was my favorite childhood game, so I just had to get it for the first time. Thank you so much for the run, I did love it. Best thing about it is he is uh he's stuck there. So after this awkward moment where he's basically told to shut the fuck up, he's he's on the couch. He's got to stay through it till the end of the fucking playthrough. He can't just run away. Oh. oh, I fucking love the internet sometimes. Some of the shit I'm telling you, some of the shit that's out there, it's just it's great. It's good stuff, really good stuff. Okay. I got a few, uh, I think I got a few more super berries here. Let me read them real quick. From Noodle Fox, is 10 enough for you, Jim? $10 enough for your e-bagging? Anyway, this is for making my commute enjoyable. From Dark Side Dave, just as for Kitty Styles, being a sex criminal is not against the terms of service. Just look at Ralph, he's still on despite being a felon. And from Guns Down Inhale, hit him with a belt, this little shit. Obviously referring to Awesome Nader. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, my I'm Killing Time Because It's Cold in Minnesota uh, stream. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking call it. I thought it was enjoyable. Watch a little bit of uh, autism in the speedrunning community. A little bit of autism with Let's Players and video game people in general. Watch some Ultra J-Man, some Chibi Nakodemic, some Narcissa, and some Awesome Nader. I'd say overall it was an enjoyable stream. Except for the 73 of you that wanted to fuck Cosmo. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe seek help. <laughs> maybe maybe get some better standards. I, I can't tell you. You know, different strokes for different folks. What are you gonna whatever floats your boat, I guess. Enjoy your work day, chat. Enjoy your commutes if you're on your commutes. Have a good time. Thank you for the orange. Rexamol. I don't know what to do with an orange, but I'll tinch but I'll take it. Part of a healthy breakfast. I'm going to uh, I think call it call it right here put up a little outro music and uh yeah have a good rest of your day don't forget sunday i'm going to have crowd on it's going to be a big extravaganza as we talk about the gay ops that'll be on sunday and then on saturday the day before uh, we'll be doing the writing contest where i read the paste bins that people submitted so that should be entertaining as well uh, anyway have a good one and i'll see you later <laughs>